Welcome to Adventures by D. Tonight we're dining at the Be Our Guest restaurant at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. We're here celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary and we're just uh, waiting to be called. We're in a waiting area that's beautiful with lots of seats and there's a ton of families in here. So we've checked in and we're just waiting for our names. We can go to the table. We're going to show you the experience. It's our first time here. So when you enter, you check your name in and then you walk through an area to like a holding area here where there's a bunch of families waiting for their name to be called and then they'll go to their table. So there's a bunch of different people in here and it's just gorgeous in here. There's different seating and areas to relax. We appreciate the air conditioning right now, that's for sure. Here's the current state of things. We are waiting for our table to be called. It's a beautiful waiting area, I'll give them that. And what's even better is the armor that you walk through to get here. Did you listen to them, what the armor we're doing? They're making noises. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, we're just waiting. You can smell the food. No love wardrobe party. I come in and call your name. I just can't get over, like, the lush draperies. It's gorgeous here. Very thick and heavy, just as you would expect in Beast's Castle. It's gorgeous. I didn't even notice until now that there's a little fireplace in here if you need to warm up at it for that. So awesome. Look at this. Right at the window where it's snowing. And we learned that in the main ballroom, not only is it snowing, but there's angels in the ceiling and it's the Imagineer's faces. It's so cool. This is the grandeur of this. I, I, I had no idea. It's really breathtaking in here. <laughs> So let's see here. This is a fixed price menu. So you get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. So it's a little bit dark. Hopefully it's coming through on the video for the appetizer options. For me, I'm going for French onion soup. Well, those are the wines. See, I'm, I'm showing you the alcohol. I can't even tell from here. So here's the alcohol. It's additional cost. So here we go. Entrees. For the appetizer, you can get French onion soup, a country seasonal salad, a duck and pork. Oh, 
terrine. You can get a duck and pork terrine, escargot, or potato leek soup. I know I'm already getting the French onion soup. There's no question for me. And then entrees, the options are fresh fish, which I'm going to guess might have a additional cost. We'll have to see. The herb salted pork tenderloin, a vegetarian spiced vegetable, a poulet bruised chicken, or center cut filet vignon or your entree options in the price fix menu. It's interesting to see what the family comes with. And then your dessert options are a dessert trio, which has a tart, a truffle, and a macaron. Or you can get vanilla cake with lemon curd. I'm assuming one of these is the gray stuff. I would hope comes as a part of the dessert trio, but I don't know. And then there are specialty drinks if you want them. So I know I'm getting the French onion soup. The question is going to be the entree. It's a la carte. The grace. Oh, the gray stuff is the chocolate tart. Okay. Dean, do you know what you're getting? Yeah. What are you gonna get? French onion soup and filet mignon. Filet mignon. Okay. Dave, do you know yet what you're gonna get? French onion soup. I'm not sure of the meat. Maybe the tenderloin or the chicken. Okay. Madison, do you have any idea yet? Yeah, I'm gonna get the French onion soup and then the poulet. Uh, Chicken. Oh, the chicken? I don't know yet what I'm doing. I have to figure out what I'm going to get. If I'm going to get the filet or the chicken. And you might get the pork, Dave, huh? Now, is the, is the fish, it, does it an extra cost for the market fish? That's, I can't. Is that what it says? There's an asterisk. Okay. So we'll have to hear what the fish is. Okay, so we'll have to ask what the fish is tonight. I don't know. I'm going to find out, though. Let's see here. First thing. And then when we're done, you can walk around and look through the rooms. The beast does not meet you yet. He just walks through the rooms. size of this room. Wow. I'm getting ready for the bread service. What'd you get? I got the French onion soup and I went with a filet, which is very rare for me. Normally I would get a, not rare meat, but I would normally get chicken, so we'll see. And it's, uh, the fish is rainbow trout, they said. So, it's, it's included, it's one of the options. I have French onion and pork tenderloin. Herb crusted pork tenderloin. Yummo. There we go, the French onion soup just came out. You can see how dark it is in the restaurant here. We're still waiting on the bread. Can't wait. I can't wait to dip some bread in my bread. Is it hot? It's not that hot. It's, it's not? Bread. It's warm up. No. So it's been pre-prepared and just... Yes. Okay. We'll have to see. Dean's going for it. Okay. 
He's got that cheese pull going on. That's some serious cheese there. You guys ready? We got little baguettes now. Some bread. I know you're gonna hate that. Wait a second, Massa. What do you have going on there? Do you need a knife? <laughs> got some uh, butter, butter. Little baguettes. So Dean got the medium rare tenderloin here. I don't know how they can tell it's medium rare. How do you think they know? Okay. Very hot. And then I got a medium. Did I say pork tenderloin? I meant like it's it's a fillet. Look at that. Yeah, he got a medium rare fillet. You like that, Dean? Does it cook perfectly? The uh, plate's very warm. I got a medium fillet. Dave's is the most pretty. What'd you get, Dave? I don't know what's going on. Some kind pork. of pork tenderloin. Yeah. Herb okay. custard pork tenderloin. Yeah. Trying to get it. It's trying to focus. It's trying to focus. Wow. Alright, let's see yours. I can't see you over here. <laughs> you got the chicken dish. Yeah, you have the most, don't you? All right. We can share one day. See what Dave has here. Is it good? The tenderloin's really good. It's a herb crusted pork tenderloin. It's a little pieces of tenderloin, but it's also got a lot of different textures. It has like candy pecans over here. It's got a pork rind and had little potatoes that I've already eaten, a couple little carrots, and pork belly too. And here is dessert and macaron, the gray stuff, and I don't remember what this is. Type of cookie or something. I don't know. Do you guys remember what this thing is? This little thing? A chocolate truffle. Okay. So we were talking. Dave, how much is this for adults? $62. Fixed price menu. Now we're all adults at this table. So, according to Disney anyway, even though technically they're still kids, but big kids. So, something to think about. It is not a cheap meal. So we finished our meal at Be Our Guest. First, I just want to cover price. So this was an anniversary celebration. Dave, what did this cost us for four of us? With the tip, it's $62 a person if you're an adult, which most people are at Disney, because I think the cutoff's nine or 10. So $62 with the tax and tip, 20% tip, it's a little over $300, $314 and some change. We got no alcohol, no additional drinks, just what came with it. Came with soda or tea, water, and then coffee with the dessert. You could have it. Um, what did you think of the meal? I enjoyed it all. The dessert was even good. The little There wasn't a lot of dessert, but that's pretty good after the bread service and the French ending and the main meal. All my stuff was pretty good. The 
French onion was probably a, not super hot, but it was it was good. The bread, the first service was a little bit stale, to be honest. Second service was better. I enjoyed it all. I don't think I'd eat here every Disney trip. This to me, it's more of a special occasion. But. Yeah, I mean, this isn't Cinderella's Royal Table like uh, special, but I think that one's eighty dollars or a hundred. But it was. Um, so, how would I say this? I enjoyed the meal a lot. I don't know if I would come back under the current cost. It was a lot of money. The food was good. It was not $62 good. If if I could have met the beast and we had a picture, I think it would have been worth the cost. Yeah, the beast just kind of comes around and waves. And, you don't and, really and meet he, him. Yeah, he just went to the center of the room even, so he didn't even get close to our table. We did like walking through the different areas at the end. It's one we wanted to come into, definitely. I just, I don't know for the cost though. I might eat, at, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed sitting down and it's definitely an experience I thoroughly enjoyed. But I, I did, I did enjoy, I think it was a good anniversary meal. It just, boy, it's a big chunk of money. So, of course at Disney, $62 will probably give you a character meal also. So kind of like compare like what you get, you know. So this used to be a character meal. So. Um, enjoyed it uh, with that please like this video and subscribe to our channel we cover all sorts of theme parks and family friendly adventures we are uh, local to the atlanta area so we cover a lot of things in and around atlanta and we do a ton of theme parks too around mainly the southeast right now but we will be branching out so we're gonna have a series of magic kingdom and universal orlando it is halloween season right now so we have uh, halloween horror nights for universal coming out and you can hear the flying train behind us here and um mickey's not so scary and a bunch of other stuff so please join us and if you like the content we have other stuff in our playlist similar to this um and we're going to be doing some reviews of some of the hotels we're staying around the area that you might enjoy until our next adventure may, may the adventures be with you, you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell so you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.